Tough one here at the Cole Center. The Wisconsin Badgers drop a 75-69 game to the Purdue Boilermakers. This one was a close one throughout the whole game. I mean, Wisconsin had a two-point deficit, you know, at the second, uh, at, at, at halftime. Second half, they were pretty much in it, but they never cut the lead to under four over the last nine minutes. It was a close game, though, throughout. Obviously, the Badgers end up losing. A couple of interesting calls at the end, but regardless, this is one where Wisconsin's going to look at it and look at ways to, to improve. Shot selection, I think, was uh, a bit of a question mark because, once again, Wisconsin was a little jump shot happy. It seemed apparent, you know, in the, in the first half. Wisconsin was going to need to attack. They were going to need to drive and force things from, you know, with their guards because of the way that they were guarding Stephen Crowell. They had uh, essentially one-on-one -on -one coverage against Stephen Crowell with the power forward, Kaufman Wren, and then center Zach E. He was the helper on the double teams. Didn't double always, but doubled consistently try to get Crowell off his rhythm and that forced other people to try and facilitate and score and so essentially the the goal for Purdue Matt Painter said was to eliminate Stephen Crowell try to limit him as much as possible don't let him get into his post-up game that means that the way to get the ball inside was for the guards to dribble penetrate and attack when they did that Wisconsin was able to get to the free throw line was able to get free throws were able to get some buckets you know and some good looks that they ultimately missed but they didn't do it enough settle for jump shots a little too much a three of 19 night or three of 19 day excuse me from three a pretty crucial you know a couple of uh, a couple of good looks that they missed a couple of looks that they probably shouldn't have taken but still this is a team that usually shoots a lot better than that and ultimately shot three and 19 from three-point range the Badgers, I thought, played well defensively. I know the offensive rebounds are there. And that's something, though, that you're going to have to deal with with Zach Eady. He had six offensive rebounds. Purdue had 21 second chance points. But I thought their defense played pretty well, you know. A good plan to limit Zach Eady in the first half, uh, kind of just make the entry pass tough, and then when he got the ball, harass him in a way. He only had five points, shot the ball one of four in the first half, then you know, kind of went a little bit off in the second half when Stephen Crowell got into foul trouble, got a little more consistent, got his, uh, you know, got his uh, flow, got his touch back, shot six and nine, got 13 points. But this is a game that you expect from Zach Eady. I don't think that uh, this performance is one that you're going to be mad about if you're a Badgers fan. But Wisconsin, you know, they had a tough time guarding the guards. Drop coverage was the key for Wisconsin, and that allowed guards like Braden Smith and Lance Jones to kind of come off screens and hit pull-up jumpers, those two-point jumpers that Smith kind of specializes in. They had 18 and 20 points, respectively, for Purdue. So a tough game for a uh, tough game trying to guard them. But Max Klesman, you know, he had a good he, he did a good job trying to eliminate Fletcher Lawyer. Lawyer didn't end up shooting a single three in this game. And then offensively, uh, I mean, Tyler Wall was amazing. He was he was the reason the Badgers were in this game. 20 total points, but he had an all around game. I mean, three steals, two blocks, seven rebounds, five assists. You go on and on. But Wall was the the main facilitator with Crowell kind of being limited by Purdue's attack. Wall was the main facilitator in this one, and I think that that's something, you know, that's going to be important going forward, seeing if you can unlock both Wall and Crowell at different times. A good game, though, for Wall. He kept the badges in this game. A lot of toughness from him on both ends of the court, and he was going up against Zach Eady one-on-one -on -one when he was on offense. They decided to guard uh, Wall with Eady, and he, you know, he, he kind of worked the baseline, tried to use his quickness, and guard, uh, Coach Greg Guard called it his ambidextrousness to kind of work through it. So a good game from him. But one that the Badgers are going to learn a little bit from, trying to improve that shot selection. A close one here at the Cole Center, 75-69. But Wisconsin drops their second straight. They're going to look to rebound next week when they'll probably get a little bit of a drop in the AP poll.